They found the body of Rose, the woman who went missing last Monday. Forensics located her camera near a well, in which her lifeless body was also found. Her husband, the alleged killer, has already been arrested. Hi everyone, I'm Andrew Willens, Game Director on Hood, Outlaws and Legends. This Outlaw overview introduces the Mystic, an ex-Inquisitor whose tenacious obedience to religious scripture was used and exploited by the state. The Mystic is a capable melee fighter who provides versatile support abilities to the team, ranging from healing to crowd control and tactical insight. The Mystic wields the Flail, a melee weapon with a long reach capable of controlling the pace of any fight. His heavy attack is a long-range strike that can stun targets, setting them up for a killing blow from you or your allies. His special trait is called Respire, which lets him regenerate stamina a lot faster than the other outlaws, making him extremely useful for fights where attrition is the key to victory. The Mystic's gear item is Poison, which not only obscures vision, but also saps the stamina of enemies unfortunate to find their way into its range. Use it to flush out enemies from choke points or weaken them before breaching a room. His ultimate ability is called Instinct. Channeling his spiritual connection to the world allows him to see enemies through walls and objects for a short period of time, as well as healing himself and any nearby allies. You can use it to infiltrate interiors where guards could be lurking around every corner or to refresh your allies during a big fight. The Mystic's perks allow for greater customization of how you wish to apply his skills. You can take healing grenades instead of poison to buff your teammates during a brawl, convert the damage you deal into health, or increase movement speed while sprinting to help your allies. Thanks for watching our Outlaw Overview, and stay tuned for more updates on Hood, Outlaws and Legends. Peggy 16. Welcome back, Executor. The Stroll infestation is threatening all colonies on Mars. All major industry, infrastructure, navigation systems, and defenses have all been severely affected. With your command, our organization will 
Locate and destroy the virus biomass. Prevent terraformers from failing. Escort and protect military convoys. Evacuate and safeguard the survivors. Defend colony fortifications. Executor, enemy wave approaching. There is no time to lose. Humanity depends on you. Peggy 16. is even quieter than I remembered. It's going to be a long evening. Ah, oh, come now, Sherry. What say we amuse ourselves with a little game? Oh, promise me it isn't nonsense. After being cooped up on that boat, I am itching for activity. Come on, it's not like we've got anything better to do. Hmm. This hotel, this island, it's full of thieves. First my cane, now the diamond. My name is Sherlock Holmes. Oh. I will investigate, and the culprit will be identified. You sure you're in the right place? We don't serve cocktails here. All right then, have it your way. Who the devil are you? I won't go down without a fight. If I wanted a fight, you would already be on the floor. Is that so? Well, come on, pretty boy. All right, I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty to see criminals behind bars. Okay, okay, I give up, I give up. Luca Galici, I know you murdered Lady Craven, and I can prove it. You are fantasizing, Mr. Holmes. Holmes, you'll rue the day you gave me my cane when it comes swinging at your head. That was too much fun, Sherry. I'm buzzing. Buzzing. Wasn't it fun? Ah, damn. Well, take one last look at the view, then we must be off. It's time to do what we came here for. 
Peggy 16. My name is Trip Westy. Recently, I produced the television nature series, Man Eater. Over the course of filming, our cameras witnessed unprecedented displays of evolution, strange mutations never before observed by the human eye. When I spoke to a prominent marine biologist, she claimed it was due to Port Clovis' extreme levels of radioactivity and industrial effluent but I couldn't shake the feeling that she was merely trying to plague him. What did she really know? And why wasn't she telling me? Then, as if the stars had all aligned, a former Q-level security specialist sat down next to me. What he told me would haunt me for the better part of a year and lead me back to Port Clovis on a dangerous journey through dark secrets, government cover-ups, and a clandestine cabal of extraterrestrial elites single-mindedly determined to enforce their will on humankind. Come with me on a quest for the truth. Truth Quest.